Size matters. Or at least, the size of your wristwatch does. Hey guys, Ben here. This is the 37mm version of the Timex Fairfield, and it's really brought back my appreciation for this watch. I've covered the regular men's version a couple of times before across both of my channels. And really with this, what you see is what you get. Timex watches tend to be quite simple like that. You get a low cost, minimalist watch that looks pretty good and works well enough. Overall, I like these Fairfield watches, but they're far from perfect. As you can imagine, considering the price, which is normally somewhere from about £40 to about £75, these have a cheap movement inside, which makes the second hand a bit inconsistent. It doesn't always hit the markers. And also not to mention with the regular versions, at least, they're pretty loud. And with the regular men's version, it's just a bit larger than I'd like. 41 millimeters may be more of a modern size and maybe on trend, but for me, someone with small wrists, it's still pretty large. The lugs almost extend to the edge of my wrist and it just doesn't look very proportionate, like a child trying to wear his dad's watch. So although I like the look and I think it offers quite good value for money, I haven't really been wearing this one. As such, I was pleasantly surprised when I stumbled across a 37 millimeter version of the very same watch. Now, although I haven't seen any YouTube videos about this size specifically, I have known about it for a little while. And one day I was trolling through Amazon, saw it for about 40 pounds and thought, you know what, I'm gonna grab one. If you're in the UK, the one I got it from was in the other sellers section. I'll link it in the video description. If you're from the US, you might even be able to get this one even cheaper. And overall, my experience with this watch is a perfect example of why you shouldn't just write off a watch because it says ladies or unisex in the title. Looking at these two watches side by side, it's clear they're really the same watch, just in different sizes. There isn't many design differences, so in my mind, there's no reason why a guy can't look great in this. And for the price, this one's been a real bargain, it even came with some extras. This particular model came fitted with a stainless steel Milanese strap that's of surprisingly good quality. It suits the watch and it looks great. And in the box, there was also another alternative leather strap. This one is quite different to that provided with the 41 mm version and is significantly better. You can tell straight away that this will last better over time, but due to the shape and the size, it's a little bit more effeminate. Not really much though, I doubt anyone would ever notice. Notably, the lug width is accordingly narrower, coming in at 18 millimeters rather than 20. This is just to maintain that proportionate look. Both also come with the quick release tabs, which means you can switch between them without any tools. This watch boasts the same strengths as the larger model. You get the minimalist dial with the Indiglo nightlight for easier low light usage. You also get a similar bulbous shape, though due to the size difference, the smaller version squares off more at the edge of a steel case back. And as such, I personally prefer the overall look of this case. On my six and a quarter inch wrists, this watch looks great, and the significantly shorter lug to lug distance makes a huge difference. In an ideal world, I'd love it if this watch was a little bit slimmer, but alas, this is the same depth as the larger one. It's by no means a really deep watch, but it would just be something nice to have. But the reduced size does seem to have come with somewhat of a side benefit. The slightly shorter second hand seems to function a little better due to the movement being able to support the lighter hand. I guess the shorter distance between the center and the chapter ring also helps to neutralize inaccurate ticks a bit. During my time with this one, I have noticed that it has hit those second markers a little bit more accurately, it's still not the best. Overall though, I wanted to share this with you for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I didn't know this version existed for a while, so I thought I would spread awareness in case you're looking at the bigger version that there is this smaller one available. At a quick glance online, because they all look the same, you might think that they're all 41 mil. And additionally, it's an example of why you should purchase something that suits your individual requirements and not just decide based on the label. Especially for watches where the different gendered designs are essentially the same anyway. Nobody would ever know or question that this was sold as a ladies watch in the first place. In fact, I'd say that this will look pretty big on the average woman's wrist anyway, so I think it probably suits guys even more. And I'm all the better for it. This version has brought back my love for the Fairfield and I now have a much more wearable watch. You'll find a link to this one in the video description if you want to pick one up. Overall, solid, really good value for money, I think. You can't do much better under the £70 mark, really. Now, in the last episode, you guys voted on where we should place that stern glass watch on the wall of watches. And this one was very interesting because in the comment section, it was a very mixed response. Some people loved it, some people thought it was garbage. But in the vote in the iCard, everyone said it was cool. So overall, I'm gonna place this sort of low to mid cool. 
But where are we gonna place this Timex Fairfield 37 millimeter version? Is this watch low quality Chinese garbage? Uncool, cool, or ice cold? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and you get the extra vote in the iCard right above me, somewhere up here. If you wanna see more videos like this, consider supporting me on Patreon. I wanna keep this channel independent and as objective as possible. So if you wanna go the extra mile, there's a link in the video description. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.